Hey guys, it's Kate from HealthyPassion.com and I'm here today with my friends over at FaveHealthyRecipes.com to share with you all my recipe for my absolute favorite post-workout smoothie of all time. This is my kale and blueberry smoothie. It's so simple to prepare and it's absolutely delicious. So I'll go ahead and show you how it's made. So we're going to get started by adding uh, one cup of non-dairy milk to our Vitamix. And I'm using uh, coconut almond blend today. It's just my personal favorite. You can use whatever milk you have on hand. Soy milk, rice milk, uh, cow's milk. Um, I like this one because it's sweet, it's creamy, it's got the vanilla flavor, and it's absolutely delicious. So get that into our blender. And next we're going to add our frozen blueberries. I just have some frozen organic blueberries, about a quarter of a cup. And that's just going to boost the flavor of the smoothie, make it nice and sweet, and add those gorgeous antioxidants and color. I'm also going to add some ice. I have about five ice cubes, and that's just going to make this nice and cold. For our other fruit, we're going to add a banana. I just have one whole banana here that's been frozen. If you don't have a frozen banana, that's fine. You can just use a fresh one. I just find it makes the smoothie a little more creamier. And then we're going to add our uh, gorgeous kale here. And kale is so amazing for you. It's high in antioxidants, high in vitamin A, a good source of fiber. It's also going to help regulate your blood sugar, and if you don't already eat kale, I would recommend adding it to your diet. Um, and if you're afraid, this is the best way to probably get started. So I have about three stalks here that have just been taken off the stem, and I went ahead and chopped it up. If you have a Vitamix, you don't need to do that, but if you're using a regular blender, I would recommend it. So we're going to get that in, and it's about two big handfuls of kale. So we're getting a lot of veggies in really simply. All right, and then we're going to add some optional ingredients. I have some protein powder. And this is just a vanilla uh, Sun Warrior is my favorite. So just one scoop. And that's just going to add protein and really make this a nice filling meal. Then we're going to add some maca. And maca is a really great uh, Peruvian root. It um, is an adaptogen. It's going to help your body to adapt when it's under stress. It's also going to help boost your energy, boost your stamina, and regulate your hormones. So uh, if you do have this, it's a great thing to add to your smoothies. And I absolutely love it. It's got a nice malted flavor. So I'm just going to add about a teaspoon. We don't need much to get the benefits. And the last thing we're going to add are some chia seeds. And chia seeds are another one of those things that I recommend adding to your diet if you don't already. Um, they are these little tiny seeds. And you can use them in everything from smoothies to salads to chia pudding. They're really great. And they're a high source of uh, antioxidants, magnesium, iron. They're going to add a good source of fiber. And they also help to regulate blood sugar. And the best thing about them is that they last a really long time, and unlike flax, you don't have to grind them to digest them and get all those amazing health benefits. So you can add them literally to anything, and they'll be perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get our lid on here, and just give this a nice blend to kind of combine everything. Just a couple more ice cubes. I like a nice cold smoothie. Get this in there. About three more. And then I'll go ahead and blend it up one more time. and blend until everything's really well combined, especially with the kale because once you start to break it up a little bit, it'll make it much more palatable and really take away some of that bitterness. So this looks great. And like I said, if you're using a traditional blender, you'll probably need to go a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and give it a taste and see how we did. I just love the color of this. It's rich and dark and absolutely delicious. Mmm. So so amazing. The blueberries and the banana really help to mask that kale flavor and you're getting so many amazing antioxidants and vitamins and fiber and protein. This is absolutely the perfect post-workout snack for anyone. So for more recipes like this one, visit ahealthypassion.com and favehealthydiets.com and I look forward to seeing you all soon.